Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondin and I'm the author of Heal Yourself, A Return to Wholeness, The Integration of Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, twin flame, romance, general readings, life path and purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondenauthor.com. And don't forget to download the free Twin Flames Affirmation Meditation. The link is below. Welcome to the weekly Twin Flame Tarot readings, messages for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and the couple. Today is January 24th, 2022. How are you doing, Twin Flame? This reading is good for the entire week, this last week in January. So to start, we are going to say a blessing over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Twin Flames, Guardian Angels, let this reading be of the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sword of light. Romance Angels, Twin Flame Angels, please help Twin Flames around the globe understand what they need to know to learn and to grow this week. So to that end, we are going to begin with the Divine Feminine Twin Flames. Divine Feminine's Guardian Angels, what does Divine Feminine need to know to learn and to grow this week, starting January 24th, 2022? And next, we're going to pick from the Archangel Michael Oracle deck. I really love Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael's amazing. And finally, a qualifier from a World of Answers Oracle deck. <laughs> this is Annette in my deck, my sister and I. And we're going to pick a qualifier for the Divine Feminines. Next, we're going to pick four Divine Masculine Twin Flames. And let's see what Divine Masculine is learning this week to learn, to grow, to groove on forward. And this is the Archangel Michael Oracle deck right here. What does Archangel Michael have to say to DMs this week? And next, we're going to pick from A World of Answers. We're just shimmying along this week, Twin Flame. We are going to go for the Twin Flame couple. This is the union energies for the week for the Twin Flame couple, Twin Flame. And guess what else is happening this week? On January 29th, Venus, which has been retrograde, stations to move direct on January 29th, which is this week. Venus has been in retrograde since December 19th of 2021. So that's kind of weird, exciting news, you know? We shall see what uh, Venus stationing to go direct has to do this week. I don't know, I've seen the morning star and I'm pretty sure it's Venus and Pluto. Hey, any astrologers out there, please correct me if I'm wrong. But I see the morning star every morning about 6 a.m. Pacific time, and it's humongous up in the sky. And I do have a distinct feeling, oh my God, what did I just do? I did something really bizarre that I've never done before. Should I leave it, Twin Flame? <laughs> oh my God, it's so weird. All right, I'm gonna tell you what I did. I meant to pick a qualifier from a World of Answers Oracle deck. And as I was talking about Venus, I actually picked from the Romance deck for the Twin Flame couple. So I'm gonna leave it. Subconsciously, I was doing something there. But what I was saying is the morning star that I see at 6 a.m. Pacific time every morning for the past several mornings, I have a feeling that is the Venus and Pluto conjunct. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe those astrologers out there can tell me who that, what planet that is. Cause it's too big to be a, like a star star. I'm pretty sure, pretty darn sure it's a planet or two planets. 
All right, so romance angels, what do twin flames as a couple need to know this week to learn and to grow? And next, the messages of love. This is a qualifier card for the romance message. And next from the Hidden Truth Oracle, this is the messages that are coming out from DM to DF, Divine Masculine to their Divine Feminines this week, Angel. This week, let's have those messages, please. <laughs> let's see what DM has to say to DF. Here we go. One more. Divine Masculine to their Divine Feminine. Okay, we're gonna start with Divine Feminines. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. The Strength card, Archangel Ariel here. This is what I consider to be a really, really strong Twin Flame card. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. It was actually like the first card that kept coming out for my Twin Flame and I really in the early days, in the early days before I even knew what Twin Flames were. Um, but we've got the number 11 there and it's not number 11 in all decks, all tarot decks. I will tell you that right now. It's not. There are, when you study the history of tarot, there are some opposing views on how to number the major arcana cards. Obviously this one, it's number 11, but it's a strong twin flame card for me. So I am saying divine feminines, this is kind of like confirmation that this situation is already resolved. Relax, release control and have fun. This situation has already been resolved. The twin flame situation for you has already been resolved. It is totally time to just relax. Start to have fun with your life. This is the message I've been getting too. I'll be frank and honest with you. I've been getting the message that I just need to like start having fun and stop being so serious about this situation, stop being so serious about this connection and just like now, right? I need to just start enjoying the present moment and how this is unfolding with my twin and I. So those are directives from the angels. Those are directives. DM, Divine Masculine, truly, 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 truly wants this reunion with their twin flame. They want it all, they want everything. They want the big happy family, kids, stepkids, grandkids, um, extended family, financial success, whatever it looks like. Because look, we got the 10 of earth, 10 of pentacles, divine masculine is thinking about this. Divine masculine is moving toward this. DM wants this more than anything. Now, it doesn't mean that Divine Masculine is gonna snap their fingers and poof, it's going to appear. This end result, this end result of the Ten of Pentacles, it's not just gonna magically appear. It's going to take some negotiation and compromise because we've got win-win situation and prayer will help with this. Win-win, prayer will help. You know, relationships obviously, and y'all know this, right? And it's funny, it says situation twice, win-win situation and prayer will help with this situation. That's really interesting that I noticed that, that I noticed there's the word situation twice. So, you know what, like relationships, you all know this, I'm not talking to kindergartners, but you all know this, that relationships do require a fair amount of give and take, compromise, negotiations, and it's not always 50-50. It's not always equal. But what I am seeing here is that in order to achieve this 10 of pentacles 
ending that divine masculine really wants, they're going to have to give a little more and they're going to have to compromise a little more because up until now, what I've seen is that they're not necessarily really good at this sense of compromise. And it's not that they're not in general. It's just with, with this twin flame connection, they've had a hard time compromising their, it's not compromising their values so much, but some of them are pretty set in their ways or stubborn in a way. And they don't want to move out of their space of comfort in a way where they feel safe and comfortable and secure. And the angels are saying like, no, no, no. It's time to move to the center, move to the center to have this win-win situation because you want this. You want this 10 of pentacles energy. You want to be with your twin flame divine feminine and have the big happy family, the marriage moving in, whatever that looks like together but you're going to have to move out of your comfort zone a little bit. And there's going to be a lot of discussions and compromise and negotiations, but keep it prayerful because if you really surrender to God and pray about it, you guys will find those creative solutions. And I love it. Now it's funny because this is actually a couple's energy for the third part of this tarot reading, right? This is a couple's energy, but what I am seeing, however, is that it's heavily um, weighed toward Divine Masculine this week. And I think we may have seen that last week as well, if I'm not mistaken, like I can't really remember, but go back and watch last week's um, reading as well as the week before. But I do feel like it was last week. It may have been two weeks ago where it's like, yes, it's for the union, the couples, the union, but it's heavily leaned in the direction of DM having to do some stuff. Does that make sense to you? Because we've got the Empress card that came out as the tarot card. Empress is really significant for divine feminine. Like it's, it's a very divine feminine card. And I have a feeling that Divine Feminine is standing there in her power, in her strength, whether you're a male or female Divine Feminine, but Divine Feminine, because it's the Empress, right? So I'm using she, is standing there in her power, in her strength, in really calm and at one with the universe, at one with nature. And it's time for DMs to make the decision, but they need to take their time and, and weigh out the options of how they're going to make this work and how they're going to come to the middle ground and come to the center position and not staying over safely in their little corner. Because here it says, make the effort. And this is the card that came out by mistake, right? I picked up the deck by mistake for the couple. It says, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And if you look at the card, great, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Um, there is the little boy who's reaching over to kiss the little girl. And what this is telling me is, is that it's more leaning toward divine masculine having to move toward divine feminine to take the steps to make the decision that you're guided to take. Okay. Make the decision that you're guided to take divine masculines and take the steps to move forward. Take the steps to move forward toward the empress. And what that says is like, it keeps reiterating the fact that in order to get what you desire, Divine Masculine, you need to take enormous steps to preserve this great love. You need to take the steps that move you out of your comfort zone and get into that more centered position so that you can compromise with your Divine Feminine. You can negotiate things with your Divine Feminine. You guys can come to a middle ground so things are, are balanced, right? And not saying completely equal. Relationships, 
relationships are never 100% equal. They're never 50-50. You can try to make it that way, but it's kind of an artificial goal. Um, sometimes, sometimes there is like, you know, one person is giving 70%, the other giving is giving 30, but then, you know, a month later, a year later, it might flip flop. And so when you average it out, it's more or less equal. Does that make sense? Now, it's really funny because the romance messages that are underneath the union energy messages this week are saying the exact same thing. It's so funny. They're saying the exact same thing that the messages for the divine masculine are saying, the messages for the couple is saying, and the messages for the romance is saying, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've got romantic feelings and decision. Again, another decision card. Oh my gosh. So we've got romantic feelings and look, there is the divine masculine kissing the divine feminine. It's not the other way around. She has her back turned to him. And then it's time to make a decision about this relationship, right? It's like, look, Divine Masculines, I think there is some pressure from the universe this week. There's a little bit of pressure from the universe this week, Divine Masculines. I'm sorry, but there's pressure. See, because Divine Feminines are asked to relax, right? Because it says this situation is already resolved, release control, relax and just go have fun. Like, it's almost saying like, just go play Divine Feminines. Your Divine Masculine is going to show up. Just go play, go have fun, go play. And Divine Masculine, the heavy burden right now is on Divine Masculines to make the decision and make the effort. Those are the two real words that are sticking out. Make the decision, then make the effort. It's like all the honest this week is really on Divine Masculines because they know what they want. They want this happy ending, the happy result. Let's see what the message cards say. This will be super interesting. Um, yeah, you were the best thing in my life and I replay our conversations over and over. You know what this tells me, Divine Feminines? What this tells me is Divine Masculine is in their corner. Divine Masculine is in their safe spot, in their comfort zone, in their security zone. Thinking about their Divine Feminine, replaying the conversations and saying, this Divine Feminine, this person was the best thing in my life. I just didn't realize it before, or I didn't look at it before. I may have realized it, but I didn't look at it before. And so, I mean, that's all well and good divine masculines. Hooray for that. I mean, realization is great. But universe is saying to you, time for a decision, time to come to the middle. Like you got to meet at some meeting point in the middle. Like y'all have to, it's not going to work if Divine Masculine is so cozy over in their corner of safety and security. And so it is time for Divine Masculine to make the effort. Make the decision, make the effort. Great love is worth it. You need to take the steps. And what does taking steps indicate? It indicates action. That's truly what it does indicate, it indicates action. And honestly, there was no like mistake in the universe that this card came out for the union energies. That's one of the romance cards and I didn't intend to pick that up, but it, it picked up when I was talking about Venus stationing direct on January 29th. Currently, Venus is in retrograde and this is retrograde energy right here of Venus. I replay our conversations over and over again and you were the best thing in my life. That is Venus retrograde energy from Divine Masculines right now. 
that's ruminating over the past in love and romance. Where might have I done something different? Where might I have realized something that I didn't realize from the past? And I almost feel like spirit is saying to divine masculines this week, hey, look, you've got until Venus stations direct. You've got until that time. You need to make your decision and take those steps. It's like time is running out here. And the reason I say that, it's not because there's some like artificial timeline, you know, on the calendar or on the clock but it's more of an energetic thing that it's fate, it's destiny, and the energy is moving divine masculines and divine feminines in that direction. So it's just like, it, this is a fated connection. So that's why fate is determining where this is moving and when this is moving. So it's interesting, but like, since we all have free will choice to move, right? Or not to move or to stay in our comfy, cozy little corner where we feel safe and comforted. Um, you all know what happens, right? You all know what happens when we do that and, and universe is going, nope, it's time to go. It's time to move. It's go time now. You know, when we deny that and we don't move, we stay in our safe little space and we don't make the changes we need to make in our lives is that universe comes in and gives us a big, ugly push. And the big, ugly push usually looks really crappy and bad and harsh and hurtful. So, you know, Divine Masculines, if you want to avoid universe coming in and giving you a big, kick in the booty that's not going to feel good. It's going to look really bad for you. And it's going to be, you know, it, sometimes it comes in like job loss, financial loss, sickness, death of a loved one. Like sometimes it comes in something huge, huge, so that you react and move. And so I would say rather than wait for that to come around, I would say just react and move now. You know, the universe is saying three times, Make your decision, then take action. That's it. And it's not even like take big, massive action. It's like go toward the middle ground. Move toward your middle ground with your divine feminine. Have some discussions, have some negotiations, have some compromises to make this thing move forward. And it's not on divine feminine to do this at all because this week divine feminine is asked to just relax. Know the situation's resolved, totally relax stay in that feminine strength, right? The feminine strength. The feminine, which is signified by Archangel Ariel Hill, the feminine's not doing anything. She's, she's not forcing her tiger to do anything. That's kind of the lore of the strength card is that, you know, it's either like the lion and the lamb or the angel and the tiger in this case where it's feminine force versus masculine force. And what it's saying is that the, the way to the tiger's heart for the feminine, right? For the angel, the way to the tiger's heart is through compassion, love, forgiveness, understanding. It's not through force. It's not through movement, right? By staying in her quiet strength, that's the way she's taming this little tiger here. That's the way, that's why it's her pet. It's not because she forced it to be her pet or she like stabbed it with some like, <laughs> I don't know, something to make it like react or get, let it be scared or frightened of her. It's no, it's like through love and compassion and just like quiet strength. It's almost like she's sitting in a meadow and she's going, okay, tiger, you want to be my friend? Come over to my lap. Like I've got a little piece of meat for you to eat while you sit next to me. So um, yeah, I hope this was clear this week, Twin Flames. It was a really interesting reading. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other twin flames. And thank you so much for your support of my YouTube channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can join a boot camp or meditation course. You can also join our group coaching. The link is below. And I will see you in the next video.